I lay down some big time praise of AEW because next week, Dynamite in Toronto, we already have five matches for the show. Thank you. Next week, it's the I Quit match Christian versus Adam Copeland. <laughs> Something we'll get to here in a moment Eddie Kingston versus Okada for the Continental title. Mercedes will be there to do an interview. Deanna Parazzo and a mystery partner versus Tony Storm and Mariah May. And Chris Jericho versus Hook. Five matches already announced for next week. So if you're in Toronto and you're waffling, brother, you know it's going to be on the show. You got no excuse now. Go buy some tickets. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Hey, you ever heard of a compliment sandwich? <laughs> yeah. Well, I I, uh, I liked a lot of stuff on AEW last night. But there was one thing on that show that my brain is melting. Yeah? It's melting. Okay. Lion hook? No. Oh. I'm fine with that. So, Okada debuts last week. He's a heel. Which, by the way, if you want the bun part of this compliment sandwich, golly, I love this guy as a heel. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's the great. best. Great. If, if I had to choose the Young Bucks and Okada's baby face or heels, heels nine days out of the week. And there's only seven days. <laughs> Last I checked. 25 8 Things might have changed with daylight savings time. <laughs> but anyway, so he debuts and, you know, beats down Eddie Kingston and everything. And when the show's over, it's like, all right, golly gee, at the pay-per-view, Okada and Eddie Kingston for the Continental Crown. And, and you know, Okada probably should win. Come the Continental, the Continental, whatever they call it. Continental crown. Sure. So uh, so they do a, a six-man this week. I'm like, golly, man, what a match. You know? All these great guys return a Pac. <laughs> you tell us a man with two young kids saying golly so much. Well, I'm, I, hey, if I if I gave this rant tonight on the Brian and Vinny show, there'd be a lot of other words. <laughs> but anyway, they do this match, great match, a lot of fun. And, uh, and Okada hits the Rainmaker on Eddie and pins him. And, of course, my first thought is, Okay, this is the exact same thing they did with Brian Danielson. Danielson pinned him in a match, set up a match at the pay-per-view. Whatever. It's, I don't care. I'm not mad about that. But then, then, they announce that it is not Eddie Kingston and Okada for the Continental Crown at the pay-per-view. They announce... It is Eddie versus Okada only, only for the Continental Belt next Wednesday. I was like, okay, hold on a second. Where would even begin? First off, first off, why do we need this match next Wednesday when we already have Adam Copeland versus Christian in their big blow-off match for the title in Toronto? Listen. Yes, you should, of course, have a full lineup for the show. People may want to see other people. But, brother, that's what you need for next week's show. That's all you need for the show. You have, not their actual AW names, but it's Edge and Christian for the title. Okay? You don't need anything else for next week. But you know what? You got to show the week after. You could do it there, but anyway, whatever. They're doing the match next week. So... Now, it's only for the Continental Belt, not the Continental Crown. It's for one of the three belts, okay? Now, there's only, there's only three finishes possible, okay? Finish number one is you do a disqualification or something and no title changes hands, which I don't think anybody's going to be happy with. But it, actually, honestly, if somebody else booked this match and I had to come up with a finish, that's what I'd come up with, okay? Even though it's the worst, I don't want to see, but, like, that's the best possible finish in this scenario. Your other finish is Eddie Kingston beats Okada in Okada's first singles match. I would not do this. I think that's ridiculous. And then the third possibility is that Okada beats Eddie and wins one of the belts, which would mean that you did... A Continental Classic Tournament. Which was a great tournament. And the whole point of that tournament was to unify these three belts into a Continental Crown. 
And after going through this great tournament, unifying the titles, and creating a continental crown, three months later, you're going to split it up. Why would you do this? Is that what the tournament was for, Brian? Yes. Really? There was no half Eddie Kingston gold watch royal well, road. Well, of course it was thing. that, but it was to and create a continental Brian crown. Danielson can't wrestle in next year's G1, so we created a little G1 we can do every year. Dude, that's Look. all that's all backstage reasons. As a I fan, know. the reason for that tournament was to create a three belt continental crown. And after investing in the tournament, we're just going to go split it up 3 months later. Look, I forgot was, when that happened to the All Japan Triple Crown. It was when they unified the them and idea. split them up three months later. Well, I mean, what is Okada going to do walking around? Do you think he's going to be walking around with the NJPW Strong title over his shoulder? Not a chance in hell. Why not? Who cares? Who because cares? Because you're talking about from, okay, take the backstage out of it that you're getting paid to do a job, and if they pay you enough, I'd walk around with the strong title too, but we're talking about on TV, this guy just came over, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, the guy that everybody wanted to be for the last 10 years, and now he's going to revert to being, I mean, why doesn't he just be, is he, there a He's TV not reverting back to being up? a strong champion. He's becoming a triple crown champion with to three me, unified belts. But Brian, here's the thing. But now, you know what, Mike? Belts. Now we have another belt. No, but because they're splitting it off from the cut. <laughs> How many the, belts do we need? But we have that belt. Here's the thing. The ROH title should not be on tv on AEW tv and they need a champion okay put it back there i don't think any strong title should exist at all but they continue to push them because i guess for touring in the u.s and the uk they want to have those titles okay fine let it jettison back to where it was do i think you need a continental title no would i like to see that title at some point maybe you know merge with the international title i think that would be great there are absolutely too many titles i see what you're saying and they're saying. about to be another one but we're we about to have it. another one but but eddie kingston has defended the continental crown anyway so who cares if the roh title and the new japan strong title go away from aew i don't think that this is an issue although it is interesting booking well nothing is an issue me, but i don't know why they bother doing this tournament if they're just going to just Get all the belts you, out. Three more belts now. That. Three more belts. That. All right. Well, someone's going to win the Ring of Honor title next, and now we'll have another belt. But that's but they need the Ring of Honor champion on TV, though, don't they? I mean, Bennett and Taven are walking around with the ROH titles, and the six-man tag team titles have been on AEW television for how long? For what reason? I mean, to me, it is. They have a superfluous amount of belts on TV. The ROH titles would be fine in the realm of, of ROH, and that's it. Same thing with the New Japan Strong titles, period. Now, take this Continental crown and merge it with the international title and be done with it. <laughs> so, but then we're going to defend the belts one at a time again afterwards? No. Oh, well. what, the ROH title and the Strong title? I guess. Apparently, well, those yeah. are going to go to two other people at some point. And then we'll just have uh, eight belts, <laughs> eight singles belts in AEW, I think is what the number would be. Right? Eight? Because we've got being, five now. Let's you're see. being intentionally obtuse No, here. I'm not. Just we've got a world yes, title, a TNT yes, title, are. an international title, a continental crown. Now we'll have a continental crown and we'll have, we'll have a dual crown. And then we'll have the other continental title. And we have, so we have six, right now, after Wednesday, we'll have six singles belts. Floating around in, in AEW. Six. In the universe, yes. Six. So close the universe when it comes to Ring of Honor. I guess with Taven and Bennett, they can go back and forth because I would want them to work with my young teams like the infantry and guys like that. But the reality is we should never see those belts in AEW. And until it comes time for Forbidden Door, we should never see the strong titles. I know, but here's the problem, Mike. What you're arguing is what they should do. What I'm arguing is what they are going it's to do. It's also what they should do. But what they're going to do. What I'm arguing is what they're going to do. <laughs> I, we don't need do? five singles, six singles titles as of Wednesday. We do and not. You know, honestly, six. what do we need an FTW title for? What do we need a TNT title for? What do we well, need an international title for? Like, take all of these belts and merge them together. Maybe that could be next year's Continental Classic, and you can call it the quad title. This person is saying what they might do. So what, what, what are you saying they're going to do? Like, they're going to do a draw? Okada's first singles match on TV is just going to be a draw. That's what they're going to do. Okay, whatever. Hey, I'll wait till next week.
Do we have brackets for the tag team tournament, by the way? Well, this is a mystery because, uh, <laughs> well, you know. Speaking be, of things that listen, piss me hold off, on. here we go. For sure, we're going to get the brackets on Rampage, okay? But I could have sworn they said they were going to have a bracketology tonight. <laughs> Wouldn't bracketology be giving you the brackets? I would what else are you going to do so. on bracketology than give the brackets? Isn't that it's, not tonight? It's kind of ridiculous, though. You know, you want people to, like, fill it out. You want it to become a social media thing, like what happens in, like, the NCAA tournament. That's what this whole thing is about, March Madness, right? Like, usually you give people more than 24 hours from the time the tournament begins to actually, you know, have some fun with this thing and, and see who they think is going to win. Oh, I see. Bracketology is what they're doing on Rampage. They're calling it bracketology. <laughs> So, yeah, so, so they can the start the thing on collision. Yeah, the, the tournament starts on collision. They announced okay. that last week. We will have the brackets on Rampage tomorrow. Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of Vinny show on his back, Jack, for all these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short Granny, surgery. Granny laugh. Granny. Removal of cyst near his left testicle. Oh, my gosh. I think what? it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out. The John Holmes extension. The adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says gag reflex removal. That's mean. He put a pork chop in his rectum. I think that you've been suffering from sore assesis. Seven days you've been saving that one. <laughs> yeah. The fact is I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragging ass. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.